Episode 1.5 begins now. The question we have today, could you spin a mirror so fast that the reflection would distort from the speed alone and not from the physical bending of the mirror? And that's from Dave in Melbourne, Australia. Well, Dave, you can distort anything with political spin. Back to science, by spin, I've assumed this means rotation. There's actually a perfect way to test this. Uh, what we have here is a uh, Seagate SCSI hard drive from an old HP file server. So this drive spins at 15,000 revs per minute and is one of the world's fastest spinning hard drives. Why this drive is perfect is because not only does it spin at an incredible speed, but the platter is reflective, so it's a mirror, and these drives are so well engineered that they barely vibrate when they're spinning at 15,000 RPM or 250 times a second. So let's put this to the test and spin it up while looking at a reflection off the platter and see if there's any distortion. So when we spin it up, there's no distortion at all at 15,000 RPM. When we talk about distortion from movement or speed, essentially what we're asking is if there is a time delay from the point at which light arrives at the mirror to the point at which light leaves the mirror. So this time delay would be the cause of any distortion from movement of the actual mirror. We can look at this problem in a much more accurate way using a laser. A good laser can solve many problems. If I shine a laser onto the hard drive platter and measure the reflection on the wall across the room, any small distortion caused by the reflection delay would be amplified by the distance. So across the room, the minimum beam distortion distance I could measure with a ruler would be around 2 millimeters. To work out the minimum rotation angle that I could measure from the 2 millimeter estimation, I've used some trigonometry based on the distance from the hard drive to the wall. So basically this setup forms a very thin right angle triangle with the laser beam, the wall and the possible distortion path forming the sides. To work out the minimum angle that I could measure I've used the formula sine angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. Then I've used inverse sine to determine the angle. So the minimum rotation angle that I could measure is 0 0.02 degrees. So how much reflection delay would that translate into? The hard disk is rotating at 250 times per second. This translates to 9,000 degrees per second. If we divide 9,000 by the minimum rotation angle, that's uh, 0 0.02 degrees, we get 4.5 million. So therefore the shortest reflection delay that I could measure would be one 4.5 millionths of a second with a 15,000 RPM hard drive. I've switched to a lower power green laser for the experiment as the violet laser was overexposing the camera. Let's look at the reflection across the room. The hard drive is spinning to the left, uh, it's spinning counterclockwise. So if the reflection time is longer than 1 4.5 millionths of a second, there will be a movement to the left of at least 2 millimetres. Let's spin it up and see what happens. So there is no beam movement to the left, however there is a vertical downwards movement when the hard drive is running. And I suspect this movement is due to movement of the uh, fluid dynamic bearings, which hold the hard drive platter in place, when the hard drive is operational. So the reflection delay time is shorter than 1 4.5 millionths of a second, or 222 nanoseconds. That's the limit of what I can measure here. However, in published experimental science, uh, mirror reflections are usually assumed to be instantaneous. Many scientists have accurately used mirrors as part of large experiments to determine the speed of light. 
Looking at this in more detail, I found a paper from 2005 in the journal Physics Letters A. They used a reflection off Mercury to calibrate an experiment and concluded that the reflection delay time was less than 0.3 femtoseconds. So, to put that in context, 0.3 femtoseconds is shorter than one quadrillionth of a second. So one quadrillion is 10 to the power of 15. It's a thousand trillion. Assuming that the reflection delay time was 0.3 femtoseconds, if we apply the mathematics backwards to the hard drive, the hard drive would have to be rotating at a speed of 183 billion times per second just to deflect the beam across the room 2 millimeters. Uh, this simply isn't possible if the hard drive was spinning at that speed. Uh, most of the hard drive would actually be spinning faster than the speed of light. And well before that, everything would structurally fall apart. So in conclusion, it appears possible in theory that you could uh, spin a mirror fast enough that it would distort the reflection. However, I don't think it would be physically possible with current engineering. Yeah.